Happy Halloween, my fellow Cheebits. Today is Halloween, and if for some reason you don't celebrate Halloween, don't worry. I still wish you a very wonderful day. So, hello, my fellow Cheebits. Today, I'm here to bring all of you my weekly anime review of Young Black Jack. And with this episode, we continue on where last week's episode left off, and we go into some form of a arc that we currently see going on. So, we get introduced to a new character, which I will get into last for this video. So, let's talk about the torture to Hosma's situation where he was, you know, captured and being tortured. Let's just talk about all that first. So, this arc, or this episode, it's been very dark. Like, I mean, we saw bullets flying last week around Hosma, and I mean, we got to see how he had to fix that dude's artery in his neck real quickly. It was first aid, it wasn't complete surgery, but he helped him out. And then, you know, half of this episode, the first half was like dealing with torture and how war is, and Hosma having to face this. It was a really cool way to showcase a darker side to young Black Jack, and also show how Hosma can be level-headed in these rough situations because I mean think about it in the episode he said that he is having to watch his patient die because I mean he was able to give his patient first aid in last week's episode but in this episode he couldn't help him out at all because he didn't have the equipment he was tied up and I mean the, the patient was slowly dying because he had necrosis actually building up around his injury and you also got to see like some form of maggots and stuff all around it so I mean he was in some really bad shape in this episode Thankfully enough, you have it to where the girl that was also there along with him that was getting tortured, she manages to get a key. And I wonder if the dude, the boy that we saw that was helping out our team or, you know, our cast of characters in this episode, I wonder if he's going to pop up again in the future. Because, I mean, that wasn't really explained. It was just kind of brushed over real fast. I mean, we got to see exchanges of looks between this boy and then the girl Falm, and then that was kind of it. And the way it looked like, it looked like the boy, either A, he was crushing on the girl and he liked her, or B, he just did not like to see people getting tortured. He got in too far into this organization. He's like, fuck this shit, and then, you know, gavel McKee. Whatever it may mean, I hope it does get clarified in the future, because I hope that wasn't just kind of just there, and it just kind of skipped over and never going to be go going back to it ever again. But yeah, I like getting to see also the different additions to the characters and the way their bodies looked. Like, when you saw how Hosma, when he was being tortured and stuff and being pinned back like this, you saw visible bruises all around his arms to show like where he's been chained up while he's being held in that position when he is being harmed I, I like the attention to detail they did in this episode especially like the bruise marks and stuff it really goes to show you like you know how the animators look at the little details and are adding them in and it just adds so much more immersion to the episode than to say if they didn't have bruises at all especially with the feet as well when he saw them around like their legs near their feet oh my god that looked fucking painful those oh shit and besides that, though, getting into the second half, so they escape. And on their trip of running, they get exhausted. They're all dehydrated. I mean, they're in the middle of the jungle, and it's not a good thing to kind of try to run in the middle of because, I mean, think about it. They were kind of locked up for multiple days. They have bruises around their, like, ankles. They have bruises on their arms. They're not in any fit shape to really be running through the jungle, not even equipped at all with water or anything. So it was ending really bad in the jungle in the second half. Thankfully, they got, they got saved by Yabu that found them and started taking care of them, which goes to show you character development that Yabu has got. As we know in the first part of Young Blackjack, he was scared of blood. He couldn't take blood, he would run away from blood, it was just not something he could handle, even though he was a doctor. And then now seeing in this episode where Yabu was able to look at blood, help people out when they had like blood loss and stuff, it really just goes to show you how much how far he has come in his little journey of being in this place doing operations and helping out people he could possibly help out. And so yeah, Yabu has been found. So the goal of this objective for this arc has been discovered, Yabu has been found, but we get introduced to a new character in this episode that was some form of, I think, American doctor that came jumping down like a lunatic, 
and helped out the soldier that, you know, had first aid from Plasma in last week's episode. So this dude, th this new guy that was introduced, I like his design, I like his personality, I want more of him, but I have to take note of the man service. So, the man service was off the wall with this episode. Like, there was a lot of man service. I mean, at the first half, yes, but they were getting tortured, and that's kind of to be expected. But the second half, especially that one dialogue scene to where the dude, the doctor dude, was talking to Hosma. He's like, hey, what is that? And all he said was like an S. And I'm going to assume he was going to say scars. Like, he was going to talk about Hosma's scars all over his body. But even then, though, the way that sounded, it just sounded very... Man servicey? That that's what it sounded to me, and I'm like, are you serious? Okay, so young blackjack is giving out that man service. It's not really giving out fan service, it's just giving out man service. So I know whoever likes man service is gonna be like, holy shit. So yeah, young blackjack, pretty damn good this week. I liked it. Hopefully we see more of that doctor dude. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.